But I'm a man. But not a doctor. Can I talk to a doctor? You are talking to a doctor. Can I need a clicky pen? No. A sharp thing? No. There he is. Doctor! Hey everyone, welcome to Quick Chat with Jay. I hope you're doing well today. In today's episode, I want to talk about Barbie. First of all, I just want to say this is literally one of the most funnest movies I've seen. One of the funniest movies I've seen this year. I cannot remember the last time I had this much fun like in a movie theater. Like I was laughing from beginning to end. It was just such like a joyous movie to watch. I was surprisingly had like some good like social commentary as well. I wasn't expecting any of this from a movie based on a doll. All right, so Barbie is about how all the Barbies and Kins and Midge and Alan live in perfect Barbie land, but things start to not be so perfect when Margot Robbie's Barbie, stereotypical Barbie, um, starts to have some weird, you know, thoughts and feelings. Um, she starts to think about, you know, things like life and death. Um, you know, all that stupid-ish that humans typically tend to think about, you know? Um, and this kind of really gets her a little bit scared. I mean, she's one of the Barbies that doesn't stand on her tippy toes anymore. So she goes to Weird Barbie and Weird Barbie explains to her that um, somehow there is a crack in the continuum or there's a crack in the realities between Barbie land and the real world. And so <laughs> with them figuring this out, um, Barbie then has to set off into the real world to find the girl who is playing with her to try to understand where these thoughts are coming from. So Barbie and Ken, they go to the real world to go find this um, girl that is playing with her and figure out what's going on. And, um, you know, it's everything's going pretty well until they have to return back to Barbie land and... Um, First of all, Ken returns back to Barbie Land first, and he brings the patriarchy to Barbie Land. And he does everything except burn Barbie Land to the ground once he gets back. Like, when Barbie finally does show back up in Barbie Land, everyone's acting weird, and it's just a whole mess. But with that, Barbie then has to actually like, okay, let me put Barbie Land back to the way it was. I'm not gonna do a full review. I just really wanna talk about why I think this movie is just one of the best movies I've seen this year. I mean, first of all, I just wanna talk about Margot Robbie. Um, she is an incredible actress and she literally does look like a Barbie. I think that was perfect casting. Ken, Ryan Gosling, <laughs> he was, the part in the person in this movie that made me laugh the most the delivery of each line he gave and just his mannerisms as ken just everything he did it was just so hilarious and there's even a point in the movie which was totally unexpected to me where there's just a big dance number between all the kins because they're at war and <laughs> it was it literally is like the craziest thing because I was like, what is happening? I was sitting in my seat and I was like laughing the entire time. And there was a moment where I said, what am I watching? Because I, it was just so like out of place and I didn't even really know what the heck was going on. But he was amazing as Ken. Um, everybody who had a role in this movie, they brought their A game and it was just an amazing thing to watch like i said i was not expecting any of this from a movie that's based on a doll i was not expecting this at all but i am glad that it like just gave us so much of comedy um throughout the entire movie also um one thing that i was already aware of before i saw the movie People were praising America Ferreira's um, speech that was in the movie. And, you know, I was like, well, luckily I was not spoiled about that speech. Um, so when it did finally come and, you know, I was like, you know what? It, it was more of like a serious beat of the film. But I was like, you know, I think a lot of women can especially resonate with this speech because 
um, it's a lot of truth to what they go through. And, you know, I saw this movie with my family and I remember, um, you know, once we got out, me and my mom were talking about it and she was like, I really did like that speech because that basically sums up what it's like to be a woman. So I felt like that was just something that was really important for the film to have, especially knowing what its um, target audience was mostly going to be. So I did think that was a really good part in the movie. But I mean, really, I just think it's just such a fun movie to watch. I mean, I've never played with Barbies when I was younger. I wasn't really into dolls like that. But, you know, it's just I feel like even if it's not something that you would think you'd enjoy, at least see it just to see it because it was really fun. Um, some more things I enjoyed was just also in Barbie land, like because it's supposed to be like they're just play things. Um, it's like there's a moment where Barbie, she gets up in the morning, um, she brushes her teeth, but really she doesn't brush her teeth. Um, she takes a shower, but there's no water that's coming out and she goes to have breakfast and like she's pouring the milk out into the cup of course nothing's actually going into the cup and she lifts the cup up nothing comes out i was like you know what yeah that's <laughs> that's a really good idea just the stylistic choices especially to make it seem like it is a land for dolls so i really did enjoy that part of the movie as well just that aspect of it um at the time i am recording this uh i think barbie's about to pass a billion dollars or reach it so good to the whole cast of barbie and everyone that worked um hard on it especially the director uh she really gave us a great movie and it was just so amazing um i don't know what else to say I just wanted to share some thoughts about Barbie because I thought it was just a, such a fun movie and I just had to talk about it. To see you for the next episode, hope you like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this from me and I'll see you next time. Bye.